Okay, so we have Harutagarn. Finally in game, a Dokkan Festival Harutagarn unit. I think that I've honestly th I always thought that this guy can get a Dokkan Fest and he's finally here. So he's also very, very, very powerful. I think they did a great job with this guy's design overall, but I saw him last time at 100% link level 10. Today we're going to take a look at him 55% at link level 1. So the bare minimum you pull this guy don't gonna awaken him what is it gonna look like here and we'll just take a look right away at what this guy is able to do so we got a pretty decent starting rotation hmm so this guy does have 70 percent chance dodge and we do want him to evade an attack uh within the same turn he evades an attack he does an additional which has a great chance to become a super he stacks defense permanently too so we're really gonna want to get a lot of these different stacks up um, I think I might keep STR cooler with him just because it would be good for stacking purposes. So we'll go ahead and put Hurudagar in here. We'll put STR cooler here. Then we're going to get this. So just turn one. What is this guy going to do? Please dodge. Okay. Well, of course he didn't dodge. So he's not getting the additional super attack, but that's just a six mil attack stat. So, I mean, he could basically do what? Double six mil in turn one. With his intro animation for the first five turns, he has a high chance to crit. And he does get additional stats. So you, what you probably want to do with this guy is... Unless you could transform in turn 3 slash 4. Uh, like especially in Omega. Once you actually are able to transform him on turn 6. If you don't fall under 70% HP. You do keep the stats right for the intro animation. And after you just use the active school. Which I think is very fair right. He also does get 10% multiplicative defense with each attack he evades. Up to 50%. So we want to try and build that up as well. Hopefully we'll be able to see that. I mean, we have two Hurudagarns, mine and the friend at 55% level 1. Which actually I'm pretty happy about. Um, so we can see both of them like on the same level, right? I think that's very important. Now an issue is that we have a lot of healing units here, do we? Um, grab a grab. I, I want to I make sure we get a super attack. Okay, this does line up actually very well for us. So we're getting the support as well with this guy. Again, Big Bad Bosses is not activated because we're not under 80% HP. Link level 1, usually not getting Big Bad Bosses. Okay, so now we got the dodge here. So this Rudigard is doing a 5.3 mil attack stat. Definitely not great at any means, but we have the additional, which we did get right there. Very, very good. So that's two stacks of defense. Already, you know, with 70% dodge chance, he's probably sitting around like, what, 400k defense or so? 300 to 400k? Considering that he doesn't have Big Bad Bosses activated, I think that's fine for free dupe, right? I'm not going to say it's anything spectacular. In a lot of difficult content, he would be dodge or die in this scenario, but once we get him link leveled, I think he actually might be pretty solid, even very early on into fights. This is good. Metal Cooler actually takes quite a bit of damage uh, from this first attack because he hasn't built up at all. Yeah, there is Metal Cooler right there. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have brought Metal Cooler though. Should I transform with this guy here? I really want to see what he's going to do here. So I'm going to not transform and I'm going to try and stay under 70% if I can. It shouldn't really be too bad to do that. I mean, if anything, I'll just transform in turn 6 and we'll get a lot of different stacks in. So this guy hasn't dodged yet. He has 50% potential multiplicative defense he can get. So, I mean, we'll see how things go. He's going to get another stack here. There's well, first dodge right there. And now with Big Bad Bosses, he's hitting a 6.7 mil attack. Set. So, yeah, we're going to be getting Big Bad Bosses now, which is going to give us 25% attacking defense from that link, which is very, very good. All right. So, we could, again, transform here, but I guess we won't. We still do have Big Bad Bosses. I could put them in the middle, I guess, just so that we don't really heal as much. Which is fine, because Rudegorn doesn't have to be in a specific slot. It's just that there's no attacks before he attacks in this turn. So, it does suck that we're not going to be able to get anything else. I mean, yeah, right here is at 540k defense. I'll definitely take that. Considering that he still needs to build up quite a bit. He only got one dodge off, so... Next time, we're going to see him get a bunch of different dodges off. and Well, at least in this turn specifically, we're going to see him get a bunch of different dodges off and hopefully build his full passive. 
with this full passive, we'll be able to see what this guy's able to do, like, you know, against, let's say, Fusions of Moss, if we're taking, like, this guy with Tech Janemba, roughly, right? We'll see next turn. Because Tech Janemba is not a terrible option, but I wouldn't say he's necessarily a great option. All right, give me two more dodges, I think, is what I want. One more. Nice. Okay, now this guy, defensively, he's fully built up. That actually will probably increase his defense quite a bit, getting an extra stack, plus getting the rest of his passive up. And, you know, if we're going into a fight like against Omega Shenron, this guy being able to stack up his defense is going to be so, so good. I guess it does suck that he can't get the additional in the first phase, but that's not that big of a deal. I could transform with this one, but, again, I still want to build up a little more. So, I mean, this is a, this is a Harutagarn where he is still building up quite a bit only 50 percent support here from Esther cooler and he is already at 500k defense huh 519k with a 70 percent chance dodge i mean that's enough to tank a majority of normals i think in the game right there are certain normals that will hit for a lot harder but still and right here this guy again yeah 6.7 i'll definitely take what we're seeing so far i think that he doesn't look bad at all and keep in mind that in a lot of these more difficult fights, we're going to be having his passive built up a lot sooner because of the fact that there's obviously going to be so many more extra attacks, right? And I mean, 70% chance of dodge is usually pretty reliable as long as this character is able to tank normals for free dupe having this dodge chance. Decent damage, right? I wouldn't say the damage is good. I would say it's like decent. Okay, right? For free dupe. He has a crit chance built in, so he could potentially get some, like, crits in there and do some extra, like, oomph damage in there, you know what I mean? Alright, so now we could transform Harutagar, and we'll go ahead and get this boy transformed. I think we had enough turns to stack him up, so... Again, he's at 600k defense here, with a 70% chance of dodge, before Genema's support is even procced. Let's go ahead and get this guy transformed here. Okay, so, I mean, if you guys saw the original showcase, we know how good Transform Karugarn is. Absolutely insane. I mean, whenever you dodge three attacks in the turn, he guarantee dodges all attacks next turn. We don't know if that loops yet, but I, I think it might loop. And obviously that's just crazy. Just absolutely crazy if it does end up looping. I might still keep Tech Janemba just because we have this attack link. Though I guess I could technically put him in the middle here. He does get an additional when he does do that. But do we get big bad bosses now? We don't. Okay, so it doesn't even matter really. We'll go ahead and put Janem put this guy slot one. Dang, well, this kind of sucks. Could I actually yeah, I could do this and then we can get Janemba support like this. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Things are looking good. So he still has the great chance to evade enemy attacks, right? As the first attacker in the turn, he also does get extra stats. So he's at 370k defense, but keep in mind, he'll get an extra 100% attack and defense after the turn starts, plus a high chance to crit. And he'll do an additional that has a great chance to become a super attack baseline. But after he dodges an attack within the turn, he does get another additional that has a high chance to become a super. So right here, he's at no big bad bosses. Um, he did one super. Here's a second super for 8.8 .8 with the crit chance. And then there's a third super attack he could do as well. Which we did end up seeing the third super. I mean, that's, I mean, no big bad bosses, Link level one. That damage is pretty good with the crits. Like, he could, he could do good damage. That's pretty nasty, isn't it? Wow, okay. Let's go ahead and get this one to transform right here. There it is. Um... Man, I really want to get Big Bad Bosses active here, but it's going to be very difficult to do that, isn't it? To have Big Bad Bosses active as well. I wish we can get all these extra links, but I'm probably going to keep STR. Do I keep STR cooler? So does he get more attack from you or you? Doesn't matter. I wish I could put him in the middle, but we want him to dodge. So we'll go ahead and grab this here. Estera Cooler, I'll probably keep in the middle. A lot of times this Sal super is like right at the end and right in the front. So I'm going to keep Esther Cooler away from the super. All right, nice. You saw his stats go up and then here's the dodging. 
Uh, there's another dodge right there. So as long as he dodges one more attack, we're going to see the mechanic next turn where he has guaranteed dodge. Which is just crazy to just say, yeah, this guy has guaranteed dodge. So, okay, we got the normal there, but we got another super attack right here. Yeah, I mean, he's hitting 10 mil attack stats. Like, multiple times during the turn. With 70% into guaranteed dodge. And... This is 55% without Big Bad Bosses ending level 1. That's... I mean, dude, that's insane. He's such a good free dupe unit. Because <laughs> he... He doesn't have to rely on raw defense, which I think the main, uh, main issue with these free dupe units is them not having hidden potential abilities or their defense is not high enough, right? In a lot of situations, but this doesn't kill me, I think. No, but it does a lot of damage, but that's fine, actually. That's perfectly fine with me. So we can get big bad bosses now with the Rudigarn. Nice. Okay, this is sick. We'll go ahead and grab this with this Rudigarn. We'll grab this support. Uh, this will activate that support there. And then Metal Cooler should be fine. So now we're going to see Rudigarn to pick wet bosses. I mean, again, that defense is going to shoot up to above, like, probably 550k plus once that full passive activates in the slot one. And then how, how much harder is he going to hit? He might not hit that much harder compared to last turn. I mean, no, he's at 9.7. And we're missing, well, like... 50% extra support we had compared to last turn. And then, yeah, he's over 10 mil now. Yeah, what a what a nasty character. I can't wait to get this guy to max things with level 10 big bad bosses. He's going to look so good. All right, so now we have him guaranteed dodging on this turn. So literally no reason to worry about anything at all. Um, again, I don't know if he gets any extra links. It's just fear and faith, huh? So we'll, we'll keep it like this. We'll go ahead and grab this with you. I don't really care about healing. I just want to see the damage this guy's able to do. Next turn might be kind of crazy, though. Yeah, next turn might be kind of crazy. All right, Haruta Garden, show us that guaranteed dodge against the super. Yep. I guess the only thing about this phase is that, obviously, we can't get three dodges anymore, so we're not going to get guaranteed dodge again. All right, so just starting off at 10 mil. I mean, yeah, we can kind of see what this guy's doing now, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, being able to have this just for him existing is really, really good to me. STR cooler is probably not going to finish things off, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll, we'll be able to get still a couple of extra turns. Next turn, we'll see who Rudigarn with not only tech Janemba, but we'll see him with, um, man, I really, I wish we can kill here though. Maybe I should have grabbed the physical orbs with physical Janemba just so I could finish the boss off because... I, I would like to see like a triple super attack turn with all that extra support, but unfortunately we're not gonna really see that. No, dang it! I wish I I should have gotten the super. That that's a big mistake right there, because we could have gotten such a huge support turn here. I guess that's okay. Can't really do anything about it. Um, I guess we'll just we'll just go all out on this turn anyways. We'll grab all these same type orbs, but we should be okay. So this is gonna be his best rotation offensively. What is he gonna do here? 10.6 mil on the first super attack only. And if we're able to get more, I think he... Yeah, he just finish, finishes this guy off right here. If only we were able to get more, that would be super nice to see. Oh, well, now we healed above the threshold, so... We might just end things here. I... Yeah, I feel like we saw a lot from this guy, so... I think I made the showcase here. I, I, like, I, there's not really much else to see. We got I saw a lot of different situations. Him with a lot of support. You know, him with only Detect number support, right? But he looks quite good. And even at 55%, I think he could work really well for you in the difficult content. You do need. You probably need to get a lot luckier compared to the like if he was like multiple dupes, or like even link level 10, like with getting those first few dodges in the really difficult events. But as long as you're able to do that. Or even if you, you could just transform with him a turn three even, and he'll be super good. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this Rudigarn. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.